What's up, guys? You know, since it's getting warmer, it is spring cleaning time. And I don't know if y'all guys had seen the trailer out here that was piled with a bunch of junk and stuff that was here for the winter. Almost got this whole area cleaned out. Got a little bit more to go in the back of the house. Pick up a little screw on the driveway. Ah, got a little bit more to go and the driveway will be cleaned out. And I was going to give you an update on some of the stuff that's been going on. Uh, <laughs> walk over here. So you can see, I don't know if y'all followed my channel long enough, but here's the, what I was going to turn into the hurt mobile and it had blown a head gasket well not only did it blow a head gasket but I think I bottomed out in it and the bell housing on my transmission has got a big hole in it underneath it I have repaired the hair the head gasket though so it's running and uh I don't have the mass airflow sensor hooked up yet though. <laughs> it needs a new thermostat and the radiator has a hole in it, which I think that might have been part of the reason why the head gasket blew. Um, but like I said, the bell housing has a big hole in it. So all the transmission fluid slowly is leaking out. Um, if y'all know anything about cars, uh, the part of the bell housing that's broken on the transmission is where the, the flywheel's at on the torque converter. So, it usually don't leak fluid. Uh, some fluid comes out of it and ends up in the bell housing. But uh, when I had it parked up here, the seal on it was uh, it was in such a manner where it was leaking out the seal, and I think that caused the seal on something to leak. But the van is up and running, so I'm possibly going to think about fixing that. Right now, I'm cleaning up that area. In the driveway which is i'm in the jeep right now in the driveway right there um i'm gonna go ahead and i have a they call it a butterfly bush over there i'm probably gonna cut that sucker down clean up in here redo a lot of the fence and uh, i'm possibly thinking about building my reptile room right here where the driveway ends i'm probably gonna put up a fence right here um Right there where the, the gate's at. All the way across to where that tree. I'm probably going to have that tree removed over there. And I'm probably going to put a fence up with a, a gate so you can get back here. And then right where the trailer house starts, all the way back, I, I believe, is about 30 feet. So I'm possibly thinking about building a reptile room where there's a door on this side and a door back there to get into the backyard and clean up the rest of the backyard. Possibly thinking about building a reptile room right there that's 30 by 12. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, if I can figure out a way to come up with some money to do that, I think it'd be uh, better off uh, because right now the reptile room is in my bedroom. <clears throat> and because it's in my bedroom, I have actually where the iguana cage is at and the snake cage is at is actually my closet. And I had to tore out my closet racks and stuff and put the, the snakes and stuff in there because I think <laughs> that the, my animals are more important than having you know closet space uh, I got prescription sunglasses guys you're, you're going to crack up I bought the cheapest frames possible in the most gaudy looking uh, lenses so I would look goofy as hell whenever I freaking put on my sunglasses that way people can make fun of me and drive around in a bright orange um, <clears throat> Jeep with these glasses. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all know my favorite color is purple, so check out my sunglasses. What do y'all think of those? Pretty gaudy, huh? <laughs> I like them. The only weird thing is uh, the purple lenses, if I, if I wear them for like an hour when I take them off, everything is this weird teal color. And... My eyes actually feel better wearing the sunglasses. Uh, update on my boas, guys. <clears throat> the guy I had got them from, the annery, 
uh, which is the black and white one, is uh, he told me he had eaten three times, and he said that the small one had had its what they call a uh, silver shed. That's their first shed. Had eaten once. <clears throat> he didn't tell me what it ate, but then uh, it was the smaller one was in shed. He is still in shed and he's not looking good. Um, I have been taking him out and making sure he stays hydrated <clears throat> by soaking him. And uh, Kenyan Samboas don't like moisture. It usually causes respiratory problems. But he looked like he was getting pretty dehydrated. You can tell whenever a snake's getting dehydrated because there's like when their their skin will kind of wrinkle up. You know, it won't look normal. It'll kind of get wrinkles in it. Anyways, guys, so I don't know if the li the little guy's going to make it because he was only a couple weeks old whenever I got him. Uh, the big guy actually had shed, was in shed too, but he has shed, the anery one, and he got a pinky today, and he had no problem eating it. <clears throat> Other than that, guys, uh, the I hadn't made a video in a while because uh, my boy, little Sal, had gotten, uh, he got some kind of stomach virus. He's throwing up everywhere. He's had that for like the past three or four days. I took him to the doctor. Uh, we took him to the doctor yesterday. And uh, they gave him a shot in the butt of Finnegan. And I think it's Finnegan or Finnegan or something like that. It's like an anti-nausea medicine. It keeps you from throwing up. Anyways, and then he got a prescription for it orally. And yesterday was the first time he ate in like three days without throwing up. And he's running around today. Wouldn't help me out here in the yard <clears throat> anyways guys i wanted to give y'all an update video i know that some of the, some of uh, my subscribers don't watch my vlogs and you know, don't watch much of my music stuff but i'm making a video to let y'all know what's going on um as always guys like comment subscribe y'all have a great weekend today is friday so i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing tomorrow uh I don't know. I might, I might go inside and pick around and figure out a video to record. Um, something to do with the reptiles. Uh, for now, anyways, here's an update vlog. Uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video.